Happy New Year, folks. This is Casey and I am one Mellow Marigold. Uh, I've been on this property for nine months already. I can't believe how fast time has gone, but I have been here nine months. And I wanted to do this video partially for you, partially for me, because I gotta admit, I thought I'd be farther along with the house than I am by now. And that's okay. I knew I was going to focus on the outside. I knew I was going to focus on gardening. I knew that the house would come later. Um, so it's not really at all where I had wanted it to be, but it's sure going to look a whole lot different than it was when I showed you the house the first time. So let's do it. I'm going to show you a little before and after and uh, let's see what's changed. Okay. Right off the bat, you guys will remember that this uh, was a raised bed that's now gone and I have a driveway <laughs> that wasn't there before it's all very exciting okay here is the mud room so there's way more stuff in here now than there used to be uh, this has gone through some phases um, it's definitely not where I want it to be uh, but it is a far more usable space than it used to be. I know on that tour I talked about this fireplace and then again the one inside. They were inspected. They do not work. They will not work ever again. Uh, unfortunately, the previous owner burned a whole lot of things in there that they absolutely should not have and it is just no longer safe. But you know what? That's okay. I got my little heater buddy. Uh, this is probably the last corner that really needs to get organized. Eventually that table is going to be an outside patio table and some shelving units are going to go below that window uh, for storing a lot more of my garden supplies and tools. I got to give credit to my friend retired Lyle. He not only made me the bench down there, but he made me the shelf to put up on the wall there. Now it feels like a nice kind of cozy entranceway and I love it. Of course, we've got all the nuts. <laughs> if you've been following along for a while, you know my nut story. And this is maybe the one most organized area of the mudroom. But it's functional now and I love that. Okay, let's go into the kitchen. Uh, right off the bat, the refrigerator is different. Uh, the silver refrigerator side by side that was in there before um, broke. I don't know, maybe after my third month here. <laughs> so we've got a new refrigerator in place. Honestly, it's great. It, um, it's smaller than the last one, so we've got just a little bit more space. Um, the kitchen really isn't all that different other than being a whole lot cleaner. Um, it took a long time to clean the cabinets and the shelves and to be able to put things away. Um, there is still a ton that needs to be cleaned, but all the usable spaces are finally in good order. You'll see all my pans are out on the stove at the moment and all my silverware is on the counter. I do have a little bit of a mouse problem going on in my silverware drawer. We think they might actually be nesting underneath the stove. Uh, so we're dealing with that at the moment, which is kind of gross, but it's an old farmhouse. What are you going to do? This room was pretty much empty before. Uh, the dogs still love their favorite spot. <laughs> that is their spot to sit in when I am working and doing whatever. This dining room has temporarily turned into my office. So there's a lot of all of my goodies for the crochet shop. Uh, my fancy desk there. Um, I have used the cabinets that are existing and we still just kind of have a little storage action going on in here. Uh, these are my clothes. <laughs> this is my closet for right now. Uh, mostly because there's no really good closets upstairs and also I just change clothes down here a lot in the bathroom and no one else lives here so it really doesn't matter. I just, it's just the handy place to keep them for right now. But eventually when the study gets renovated and this can turn into a dining room again, uh, I think I will be a big girl and take my clothes upstairs. The sun porch did a little bit of double duty this year. So this spring when I moved in, it was where I started all of my seeds on these gorgeous shelves and these big old windows. 
Now that seed starting is well past, it stores all of my yarn and all of my projects in progress. Uh, I keep this table in here all the time for sewing projects, crochet projects. This is where I take pictures of all of my products. This is actually a custom project that I have finished and it's gonna ship out this week. Um, but it's lovely. I love sitting out here and working on things. I love seeing wildlife go by. I could do with a few less cars. Ultimately, when the office area is redone, I think this is going to go back to a plant and little reading nook. Let's move on into the front room. Uh, not much work done to the door or anything yet. We just kind of have it sealed up for winter and cleaned. We're no longer camping out in the living room. It's pretty exciting. It's really just a living room now, which is great. Uh, I know that you'll appreciate my super fancy curtains. I do really love the curtain rods I've found. Uh, I just have not committed to the curtains that I like yet. So uh, that's sort of one of my themes with this house. If I don't have to put something in temporarily, I wait to buy things until I know it's really what I want for that space. I'd much rather focus on putting things in place that I actually really like. So, and that's okay. I'm totally happy to live this way. In the last video, I really did still have high hopes <laughs> that the fireplace would work. It does not. Much like the mudroom fireplace, it will never work again, uh, which is really too bad, sad. It would have been nice, but I still think it looks lovely. Um, it just feels really nice to have a room where we can hang out, be comfortable, hi buddy, <laughs> and just lounge even though the rest of the house is kind of a hot mess. Uh, in the first video, I was still hopeful that our radiators would work. Uh, as we found out along the way, the radiators actually work just fine, uh, but the pipes going to them underneath the floor had exploded and they happened to be covered in asbestos, which is not good. Uh, and so they're just, the boiler in this house is not gonna work again, which really sucks, right? Um, honestly, these radiators are so gorgeous. I would just love to be able to keep them in the house, but, since the boiler isn't gonna work anymore, I am planning on selling them if I can. I am told that these are very fancy radiators and it carries a good story because they were built and manufactured here in, um, here on the East Coast. Actually, I think they were, um, I think they're here from New York and they are tied to the origination of the house. So there's a good story that goes along with them and the money that I get from selling the radiators, I'm gonna to use to put in a mini split system. In the meantime, what I'm working with are these little bitty oil-filled electric radiators. So I've got three running in the house, one over there, one here, one back in the dining room, uh, oh, four, and one in the bathroom. Uh, honestly, they're doing a great job. <laughs> it's definitely using more electricity than I would prefer. So I do wish that I didn't have the high electricity bills that I have with keeping these on, but quite frankly, um, they're doing a great job in the house. They really are. I have no complaints about them. And um, if that's what we have to use through the winter this year, it's gonna be just fine. Bathroom hasn't changed much other than I have stuff in here now. Uh, and it's still a lot cleaner <laughs> than it was before. This room has not changed at all, but I think I mentioned in my last video, this is going to be my office. I am ready to start working on this room. So after the new year, this will be one of the first inside projects that I work on. And that carpet, mm -mm, that carpet is gone. That carpet is gone yesterday. <laughs> There is so much filth in this carpet. I, We are gonna rip it out. Uh, we are gonna sage this room. Uh, I think this wall is gonna come out and we're gonna get some insulation in there and drywall up. I have not decided about that outside wall. Uh, this wall will probably come out as well and have new drywall put up. Uh, but this will be the first project after the new year. 
All right, last but not least, let's pop upstairs. Nothing has changed in the upstairs rooms except for this one. So I'm finally sleeping in a bedroom, which is really exciting. This will not be the final master. Either this room or that room will be the final master. I think it's gonna be that one. This room was the easiest to move into because it had the most working outlets and walls that weren't falling apart. <laughs> so nothing's fancy. Armoire, this will eventually get refinished and taken downstairs, but right now it's just storing old clothes. Again, super duper fancy curtains. Uh, but overall, the room itself stays nice and warm. I have a little space heater up here for the occasions that we need it, but I really don't end up having to run it all that often. So it's nice. It's quiet up here. It's comfy. Come on, Hilda. Last little project I wanted to point out was this little under the stair space. There is a closet in there uh, with some, you know, really old barrels of paint and stuff like that. I'm going to take this wall out and I'm going to make it into a little storage nook. And I think that's going to be real cute. So that's another project on the docket. All in all, I'm still really happy that I'm here. This house might need its work, but it's mine. Oh, there we go. This is where I live now. <laughs> I love seeing the before and after. I love this house. I love that every single project I take on has a visible and immediate impact. I love that I'm bringing positive energy to this farm again. I know that 2024 has been kind of a shit show for a lot of us. Not just personally, but all around the world. Uh, there's some pretty horrific things going on, and that can be really stressful, right, for all of us. And while I don't think 2024 is going to get all that much better in that regard, I do hope for you and for me, we find a little bit more joy, a little bit more patience, a little bit more peace in our hearts. Uh, those are the things that really matter. I love you, and I thank you so much for being so supportive on my journey, and I hope you love this little before and after. And I look forward for lots of growing to come in the next season. Love you guys. Talk to you real soon. Bye.